quick little story, because um, I was in the airport today. The airport's full of stories. Um, and this is really just interesting to me. And I'm about to start the portion where I talk about a, a person I used to have feelings for, so I feel like this is an appropriate story. <coughs> um, I was sitting at my gate, and it was like 6.30 this morning, and this little boy, who was like three in his stroller, um, just kept looking at me and smiling, like as big as he could smile. And as soon as I would look at him, he would just like, like <laughs> bury his head, just like oh. And he was so cute, and I just kept like <coughs> trying not to let him see that I was watching him. And then as soon as he would be like, I would turn and he would look away. And then I started to think, I know this game. Except I play it with people my age, and I don't like it very much. <laughs> <laughs> is like an inherent thing. Like they're like free and they're just like, I'm gonna find someone and I'm gonna look at them and as soon as she wants my attention, I'm not gonna give it to her. <laughs> I'm gonna make her wait for it. Yeah. Also feel bad about calling like a three-year-old a potential public. <laughs> like that's up to him, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, if, if you've ever felt feelings for someone who's shitty, here's a poem. forward, 
and my jaw was a clenched fist I could not throw because the truth hurts loudest when you toss it around and the echo, the echo is what drives girls like me <coughs> mad with remembering. Yeah. 